Happy New Year, everyone. Hi guys, welcome to P-Myth Gaming. It's 2020 and we've got a whole new year of Switch goodness ahead of us. Hopefully we'll get a Nintendo Direct before long so we can see what Nintendo has got in store. But I thought I'd kick things off this year with a video about some of the things that I'm hoping to see from Nintendo in 2020. Let's kick things off with some specific games. My most anticipated game is Animal Crossing New Horizons. We've seen a few bits and pieces of it over the last six months or so. The crafting element looks like it's going to open up a lot of customization options in terms of furniture and things, and the ability to place furniture outside, as well as properly cultivate paths, means you should be able to tailor your island to your personal tastes exactly. It's pretty clear from what we've seen so far that this is going to be the most customizable Animal Crossing yet, but I kind of feel like Nintendo have still kept a fair bit back. So I'm excited to see what surprises are in store once we get our hands on the game at the end of March. My main hope for Animal Crossing then is that this feeling is right and that the game is jam packed with new content and critters and fashion and furniture and a whole bunch of other things that we can't even imagine. We're certainly going to be able to craft our new village however we like, but I hope the game has a few surprises up its sleeve once we've paid off Tom Nook and started exploring the island properly. This next one isn't actually confirmed for this year, but I've got a sneaking suspicion that around E3 it might well be. Hopefully. Yup, I reckon the sequel to Breath of the Wild will be the main focus at E3 this year, and I think it could well be the game to take Nintendo into their first Christmas of the decade. We've not seen or heard anything about it since E3 last year, but we do know that work started on it as soon as Breath of the Wild was completed. That game launched in 2017, which means that by the end of 2020, it will be three and a half years since we first explored that open world Hyrule. Given that Nintendo seemed to be reusing the same engine, assets and possibly even the same Hyrule, I reckon that's ample time for them to have put together a sequel. Majora's Mask was released around 18 months after Ocarina of Time in a much similar fashion. Even if it turns out that the follow-up to Switch's Mighty Launch game isn't a 2020 title, I certainly hope that this year we get to see a lot more of what we can expect from it. Which leads me neatly onto the next game. Metroid Prime 4 has had a somewhat troubled development so far, what with the entire project being scrapped and started again over at Metro Studios. That announcement came around this time last year, and it's been radio silent since. Needless to say, Metroid Prime 4 will not be a 2020 game, but I'm kinda hoping that development is now progressing well, and we can maybe get a trailer for the game in a direct later on this year. And I wouldn't say no to the trilogy appearing on Switch in the meantime. Moving away from whole new games, I'm intrigued to see what we get in terms of Smash Brothers this year. We still don't know who the fifth Fighters Pass character, and in the initial announcement for the DLC they said that it would take around a year to release all five. Joker arrived back in April last year, so we should expect that fifth fighter to drop sometime in Q1. With the added announcement of even more DLC to come, plus of course all the amiibo, the Smash Brothers Ultimate hype is likely to continue well into 2020. It wouldn't surprise me if we didn't get much of a look at Smash Fighters in the first Direct of the year though, but instead got a dedicated Smash Direct in March or April that detailed the final Fighters Pass character, announced Fighters Pass 2, or whatever form the additional DLC will take, and give us a glimpse at some upcoming amiibo. Frankly, I'm just impatient for my Banjo-Kazooie amiibo. Finally, one more thing I'd love to see this year is more collaboration. Nintendo have struck gold recently by loosening their grip on their IP a little. Mario and Rabbids was a surprisingly awesome crossover. Everyone agrees that the Switch version of Starlink is the superior one, courtesy of the brilliantly implemented Star Fox content, and Cadence of Hyrule showed that even indie developers can handle a franchise as big as Zelda with great skill. I'd like to see more of this in 2020, especially if it means we can revive some dormant franchises. I mean, why not give fast RMX developer Shinen a crack at F-Zero, or hand Ubisoft the reins to Star Fox full-time and let them create an open-world Star Fox game and continue the work they started with Starlink? Nintendo are pretty good at releasing a steady stream of first party titles these days, but if more collaboration means more fan pleasing releases then bring it on, especially if we get that new F-Zero game. So that's what I'm excited for in 2020, but what about you guys? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe go and check out some of the other videos we've got here, such as this one. And if you like that, you can always subscribe to so you never miss another episode. This show goes out every Friday, but there's tons more stuff here on Nintendo Village for you to enjoy. Plus, don't forget to check out the NintendoVillage.com for news, reviews, features, podcasts, and all that cool stuff. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all next week.